By now you've heard the good news that Gotham City Sirens is going to be a movie with Margot Robbie attached to produce. Uh, there are some other rumors going on as well, so hold your horses on the, uh, the so-called casting news. Uh, there is a rumor going around that Megan Fox is being considered for the role of Ivy. However, this is based on um, speculation that she, well, she did say that she expressed interest in the role before, and Bleeding Cool is saying that she is being considered for the role. So I think it's too early right now to really take that to heart as a serious uh, piece of news that is happening. I... I have mixed feelings on this because Ivy is a complicated character. On her surface, she is basically, um, she has a lot of femme fatale things going on for her. Uh, she does use her physical attractiveness to draw in men, uh, including Batman himself, which is interesting. Uh, but there's more to her than that, especially with the other rumor, again, rumor, uh, that this will be a love story between Harley and Ivy. If you've read the comics, I believe pre new 52 uh, this is something they were toying with a lot this is something that Paul Dini is a big supporter of uh, generally he sees her arc as starting with Joker which is a very fraught relationship it's deeply problematic and while Harley is an interesting character she's not really a strong character at least at this point later on she does actually start a friendship with Poison Ivy Pamela Isley and eventually they get become closer and in some iterations it is displayed as a romantic relationship and a very healthy relationship because Ivy does support her more and understand her more and listen to her more and help her grow ultimately as a person and as a, uh, a gray character I will say in the lexicon um, while we've seen Megan Fox do a lot of uh, bombshell roles, I don't think I've ever seen her take a meteor role as a, a true, as a true romantic interest. And I don't mean that as like, you know, just the girl in the movie. I mean it as someone who is legitimately there to support and love and be a good influence on someone's life. It is harder to do than to be the generic, you know, that's the hot one, that's the one the main character is gonna end up with, which unfortunately has happened pretty much um, consistently throughout her career. David Ayer is also attached to direct, which I also have mixed feelings about, considering the problems that were on board with Suicide Squad. I mean, you can't argue this was a popular movie. It did make a lot of money. The music was good. It was more fun than Batman v Superman, Dawn, Dawn of Justice, but it did have its problems, and these were very tonally inconsistent problems because we will remember there were different cuts of the movie, competing cuts in the movie. Ayer wanted to take it one way, the studio wanted to take it the other way. I don't know if those problems have been resolved, but at the very least that seems like it will be an issue that will come up again. So we do, that is solid information um, about Robbie and uh, Ayer themselves. The other information is still speculative at this point do not trust anyone that reports it as news as of yet, uh, per se. Though I think we can fan cast this if we want, and I do want. So um, for the role of Ivy, I have another idea, and that would be Natalie Dormer, who you may know from Game of Thrones as Marjorie Tyrell. I think she plays the line very well between someone who can be seductive and vivacious, but also someone who is very smart, who has... Uh, uh, more to her character than you might see right at the forefront. And I think she would really excel at this role. Uh, for Catwoman, some other sources have been writing that they would like to see Anne Hathaway return as the role, which I do think is a mistake. I do like Anne Hathaway as an actor, though this movie is totally different than the Nolan verse, uh, or it seems like it would be at least if we're going the Gotham City Sirens route. Some other people have argued that Hathaway is too old for the role, I would argue she's too young for the role because this is the world where uh, Ben Affleck is Batman, as you'll remember. So I think it would be smarter to cast an actress who is closer to his age. Otherwise, it makes less sense in the canon of Batman and Catwoman. However, I don't put it past them to cast a uh, wildly too young actress for him. Uh, so my ideas for that would be Christina Hendricks or Charlize Theron. I think they both could handle the role very well. Um, and handle the the intrinsic nature of Selena Kyle. And yeah, I, I listed two for that. I'm leaning more toward uh, Theron, to be fair though. 
Um, there's also the idea of Barbara Gordon making appearance. She tends to be the fourth character that's involved if we're talking sirens. Uh, go look at that web series online. It's a lot of fun. It features the animated series voice actors. Uh, for her, I'd like to see Jenna Malone, who you may remember being cut out as her role as a nebulous character. Um, I think she could do it. I think she could play the, the Barbara role and maybe the Oracle role, depending on where we are in the timeline here. I have not cast, I mean, there's, there's also Huntress and Black Canary. My idea for Huntress was Michelle Rodriguez because Huntress would, I would call her the brawn of uh, the Birds of Prey group. I have not thought of who I would like for Black Canary yet. That is where you come in. Uh, who do you think could play her and who do you think could play the other roles? Those are just my choices. Let's hear from you. Please leave those below in the comments. I stumbled a little bit and please like and subscribe for more.